Page 10, sneaking around. Now again, like I say in all these videos, when I learn a new piece of music, I have a particular procedure I go through to learn the piece of music, and that's what I use in these videos. So that's the procedure I'm going to go through here. First, I like to look it over. I see it's two pages long. I don't see any repeat signs or anything. It's just straight through. We have treble and bass clef. We don't have any sharps or flats in the key signature. We're in the key of C major. Make sure you can do the C major scale. It comes in handy. And then we're in cut time. Oh, wonderful. I love cut time. Oh. There's eighth notes, and there's triplet eighth notes, and quarter notes, and we've got to deal with all that. Now, there is a note we can swing the rhythm, but I do that later. Right now, I'm playing everything right square. Blah. Then also, when I learn a piece that's in cut time, I pretend it's in 4-4 time until I get it learned. Then when I go to do the tempo or the speed, I put it in cut time. So I'm going to talk about this as though it's in 4-4 time and a quarter note gets a count. Now, first also, all I'm interested is the notes and the rhythms and all that and the fingering. So any grace notes or any articulation of that, I'll leave that out right now. But just I got to do this just a little bit at a time and I build it over time. So I'm just looking for notes and rhythms and fingerings. And the right hand here and the little grace note I'll leave out. So it's one and two and three and one and four and one and that's tied that's pretty much it till we get to measure seven a third line one and two and that's tied and then up you come up here fourth finger one and measure eleven in triplets one and a two and a one and a two and a and they're using second finger on this I don't like doing that. I prefer to kind of stay in the same hand position if I could. But if you can't, again, you're using awkward fingers. Well, I like to use the awkward fingers because you get to where you can actually use them. If you keep shying away from the awkward fingers, you'll never use them. But if you want to use two, that's fine. And then hit. Then you come up. And measure 15, oh goody. Well, look at the stems on these. And they have the LH for left hand. The point is here, if the stems are going up, the right hand plays it. If the stems are going down, the left hand plays it. So the one hand doesn't have to play all of them. It could, but they don't have to. So it's triplets. One and a two and a. And that first note is an F, in case you didn't know. And then the left hand plays, and then the right hand. And then the left hand, and then the right hand. Then the left hand and then the right hand. Okay. And you're back to doing what you're doing at the beginning. Left hand, what's it doing? Well, half notes at the beginning. Measure four. One and two and three. Rest. You do that some more. Now let's go over to down to measure nine. They're up here. Notes changing. So. Then measure 11. One and a two and a three and a. Okay. And then measure 12. One and two. So that's a little tricky. Let's do measures 11 and 12 again. It's one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two. And you do that some more. Measure 15, the left hand does the notes with the stems going down. You'll, you'll work those out. Yeah, okay. Put the hands together. Now, again, when I go to put the hands together, I can hesitate all over. I'm not, I just want to know which fingers are working together here. It's here, here. Four. When I play the C, the, left, the right hand comes up. One and two and three and four and one. Measure eleven. One and a two and a one. Slowly. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and two. Okay. Now let's go over to measure seventeen. Just just make these even if you can. One and a two and a. Get the idea? 
me back to what you were doing at the beginning. Anyway, you put the hands together and then go back through it over and over and over and over and work on the hard parts and get rid of the hesitations. Keep it slow, it's fine, but no hesitations. And once we have that, then I think about the articulation and grace notes and whatever's in there. I'm connecting this in the left. Connect these half notes, that's okay. So here, and the, again, that grace note, just a real quick little note. the wrist is staccato short you get the idea I hope on measure nine you're connecting the right hand staccato on the left here I connect all these triplets together in measure 11 that's staccato on the left Measure 15, that's not staccato. Hold it down until you hit that. Hold on. And then this is all connected. And you pretty much gotta memorize that because you're gonna have to be looking at the keyboard. But you're just playing all the notes. Just it's easy to memorize. So just memorize this. Just keep in mind his second finger on the B when you get there. You go through and put in the articulation. And then once you have that, we think about the dynamics. MF, mezzo forte. It's going to be pretty much both hands, but it's mostly the right hand. Measure nine, you're loud, and this is going to be for the right hand. Keep these chords down a little bit. And it's everything. It's not really everything. I mean, that chord in measure 11, that's a little soft. It's the triplets, though. Not moderately soft here, a measure 13. Left hand's is soft. Moderately soft, moderately loud. Excuse me, just come down a little bit. Like you were at the beginning. You can read the dynamics. On uh, measure 23 and 24, you get a sforzando on 24. And a sforzando is like the strongest accent there is. It's a musical bang, but be musical about your bang. Don't just bang it. Collapse the wrist on this. Don't get stiff and play with tense. Mm -mm. So measure 23, you're moderately soft here. And you're going to go up. Yeah, bump all of a sudden. Because at measure 22, you're moderately soft. So at measure 23, you're still moderately soft. You go loud. And stay loud here. I mean, Sforzato is not a dynamic, it, it's, it's an accent. So my, my impression is the crescendo of measure 23 took you up to loud. And I'm loud. Then come down a bit to moder measure 26, moderately loud. Moderately soft. Soft. And that last note, if you have a full 88 key piano, is the bottom note, is an A. If you don't have a full keyboard, you just play the lowest A you have. That's close enough. It ends very soft. Huh. Well, soft, anyway. And then finally, I think about the speed. Well, this is where I have to put it back and cut time. I want to feel it in two. One, two. How fast the two is, it's up to you. What can you play accurately? You find the hardest part, wherever it is, probably these triplets. What can you do those accurately? That's going to be your speed. But feel it in two. Feel each of these half notes as a beat. But you can't go too fast because they want this done in a swing rhythm. You see the note up above the staff? We're going to do long short. 
the rhythm they're showing you, like a triplet, two eighth notes equal, that's not exact. That's just the notation to indicate swing the rhythm. So we swing the counting. We don't go one and two and one and two and three and four and one. We do it one and two and three, and we play it that way. One. There's no notation for it. You feel it. It's not a triplet exactly, and it's not a dotted rhythm exactly, but the triplets kind of fall in because it's close. So it's one. me please that's just one way of playing it I played it ten times I'd play it different every single time because you got to get in and you start feeling them let's play this together very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms I'm not going to do any dynamics we're just checking notes and rhythms I am going to swing the eighth notes though because that's part of the style and I am going to take it in four four time now I'm going to go back to where a quarter note gets a count so I'll give us four quarter note counts to come in and let's try it very slowly together we're just checking, are you playing the same note I'm playing at the same time I'm playing it? That's what this is for. One, and two, and ready, and go, and one. Rest. 